सो है गाय दिस विश्वजीत एंड वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल सो आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग विद द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट दैट आई एक्सप्लेन ऑन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियो डू वॉच इट आई आई एम गोना पुट इट इन टू सम कार्ड्स और समथिंग इन द आई बटन मोस्ट प्रोबेबली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द कोड हाउ आई डिड इट हाउ आई लोडेड द डेटा हाउ आई approached with the problem how i am able to visualize the data properly so let's uh, jump into the code so first i'm going to fire up my windows terminal and activate the required environment jupyter notebook and we are inside so this is the file ml project final dot i p one y n b. So first of all, I'll give you a look how my uh, project directory looks like. So this is my models folder, my pipelines folder, my deployment program folder. Then there is pi cache. Then there is uh, checkpoints, the data. Then the Jupyter notebook notebook file. Then some classes that I used. I'm gonna explain everything. So first of all. let me go into the code and show you what i have done so these are my imports i have more imports you will be able to see okay so let me execute this so my database is in the form of sql lite i'll show you the data so it's in the form of sql lite so it's around 298 around 300 mbs so let me read the data okay so i have the data over here so now if i show you the shape of it you can see it it has around 183978 data and 42 columns so you can see there are many 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 columns right first i generally see the data types that is present so here you can see we have the float data type over here these are numerical data and we have the categorical data again we have float and we have uh, date and fifa player id these are the ids right next what i do generally i generally check for null values dot sum so this is giving me the columns which are having this many number of null values so for example overall rating is having 836 null values potential is having 836 null values attacking work rate is having 3230 null values so we are supposed to predict this right the data is already given and this is the target column and we have to predict this data and if you look at the data set clearly right this is one match data this is one match data so you can see this ids are same so that means this belongs to one player this match data belongs to one player right this is match data and this is each and every player's data like this is for one player data and if i if i get to know other player for example if i show you if i come little bit down over here and if i do head of 100 so okay i am not able to showcase let me go for 20 hopefully i am able to yes you can see this id is the same so that means this belongs to one player this id is the same so that means this belong to uh, belongs to another player so these are all play, match data belongs to this particular player right so this is what the data set is so now if i want to find out that how many unique players are there or total number of players that are present so i have around 11062 unique players data that is present 
so these are the number of data or the total number of matches that are present and these are the total number of players that are present right so if i move on i have already showcased the shape and error type now you can see categorical attributes numerical attributes and target attribute now how i know this categorical numerical and target so first of all if you check this data right you can see these values are given in float these values are given in float these are given in int so these all are number data right and this are given as object so that means they are uh, not a number data sort of a string data right now as i can see this data are all player players data i mean uh, player statistics and this id int this this data int 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 these are players id identity right and this overall rating is a target and this is the date this is an uh, going to be an object and overall rating is our target right so i divided the data based upon this since these are all float values so i i copied all the columns one by one and i pasted it over here right we can do that also in a very easy way for example if i do this so you can see these are the columns that are having a uh, float 64 as our data so these are uh, my numerical data now if i do dot index so i get this so i can copy this whole thing that only i have done and i, I am going to paste it over here and the same thing i am going to do for categorical data now categorical data as you can see date is there but we don't require date we require preferred foot attacking work rate defensive work rate we only require this three so i have used only this three and this is the target and how i know this is the target because it was mentioned in the problem statement that this is going to be the target okay so let me execute this oops uh i have already shown you this shape this is uh, the number of null values which also i have executed once now the data contains too many null values there are there are rows that have all the columns as null all the row value is null so there are a lot of rows that have everything as null so i can't use those uh, rows so what i need to do i need to drop those so rows which are having extreme level of null values i am just dropping them so this is going to change our data set so now if i do player data dot shape you can see it is around 183142 so around uh, around 800 to 700 items got dropped right so now this is a class that i have created from my end i'm going to showcase you this so what the class name says the class name says from clean and merge import clean and merge right so this is the so this is the class so i'll explain in a gist what i have done over here so generally if you look at the data set as i said previously this i mean this data contains the data of matches of players so this is a player data this is a player data player data and this is one full particular match how how 
this player this particular player performed in this match so this data is given in the whole row so this is one data for one player this is for the same player this one is for another this one is for same player so i have five entries with the same player 2 1 8 3 5 3 this is the id one player id so i have five entries of one player and this next entries are of different players but i need to predict for one particular player for one particular player what is the overall rating so what i did i merged the data so i have i can see that there is 71 potential 71 potential 66 potential 65 65 so what i did i merged the data right and how i did i used mean to merge it so if it is a numerical value i used the mean if it is if uh, if it is a categorical value i used the mode so for example here is right 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 so i can see that this player is right footed so the value of this uh, the, the value of the merged column is going to be right okay so like this i merged it everything so for numerical uh, attribute it is going to be the mean value for categorical attribute it is it is going to be the mode value so i am merging all the values i am creating a new data frame out of it and there is some there are some data that are present for example there are this columns i mean this uh, data that was present which i didn't knew what i am supposed to do so i simply dropped them because this was uh, not making much of a sense here also i am doing a little bit of pre-processing so i found this categorical attributes in the data so uh, this didn't made any kind of a sense so as per my knowledge what i did i assigned them to a low class to a medium class to a high class and i just imputed the values over there and i just returned this new data frame right so we are back to here so what i did over here from clean and merge import clean and merge clean and merge this is nothing but the file name and this is nothing but the class right so i am creating an object of that class and i am just calling the object dot fit and transform so what is the main advantage of using this uh, way so for example if i want to execute something in one line right so i am just creating an object dot fit and transform and player data so in one line it is going to process all of the data and i'm going to get the data over here and you can see the data is processed and it is present over here so now if you if you look carefully over here if you check carefully dot shape so you can see 11060 so these are nothing but the unique number of players that are present so now the data set that was present it got compressed to a more precise data now we have now i have data for ev each and every player so this is one player data this is another player data this is for another player data so these are now this uh, this contains data of each and every different different players so one row means one different player data another row means another different player data so all data i merged it together so now i have 11060 rows previously i had 183 all got merged into 11060 rows and 37 columns i dropped a few of the columns because i don't require the ids the date so i just dropped them simply so now the actually i also got an object this object this object is going to be extremely useful when we are going to go for the deployment purpose right so as i am doing a fit and transform on my data i have to also do when i am testing the data so when i am going to receive the test data from the user so that time i cannot do fit and transform i have to only go for the transform so for that purpose i i need this object and to get this object i need this class so this is the reason i created the object and also in one line you are able to do it so this is the advantage of using uh, this 
fit and transform in the form of classes. So now here what you can see clean and merge target from clean and merge target import clean and merge target. So now this so in our data set as I have shown the data set contains a target also overall rating 67 67 just these are rating of one particular player one particular player one particular player so these are the ratings of one particular player now i merged this data i merged the potential i merged the other data i merged my attributes now i also need to merge my target right so this are this is my target so i need to merge them also so what i did i just simply calculated the mean and i, ju I just merged them for example it is 67 plus 67 plus 62 plus 61 plus 61 so this data belongs to one particular player right so if i do a summation 1 2 3 4 5 and divide by 5 i get 63.6 right so i can use this data as his overall data right as his average overall data now i did the same thing clean and merge okay i uh, okay here clean and merge target so what i am doing over here let me show you the class how it looks like clean and merge target so here you can see i am just doing the mean of it just the mean that's it and now so i am able to create an object dot fit and transform player data so now it will take some time to execute because there is a for loop that is working. So as I can see, I got the overall rating 63, 69. These are overall rating of each and every player right in sequence. Okay, this is very important. So this is the attribute of a particular player and this is the target of that particular player. Okay, so this is for the second player. And this is the overall rating of the second player. This is the overall rating of the third player. This is the overall rating of the third player. Right. So they are sequentially arranged. That is important. They are sequentially arranged. Here it is sequential. Here also it is sequential. Right. So now if I check the data. My actual data. My merged player data is this. Which I already showcased you. You can see the shape. Is 11,060,37. This is the each player data and this is the target data right so i have done initial pre-processing this was initial pre-processing now before moving on into the final pre-processing first what i need to do i need to do a train test split right and one more thing if you check this data this is initial pre-processed data right this is the merged data if you check clearly you can see there are null values right there is going to be null value for sure there are null values so we need to handle the null values so this is the complete data that i have right complete pre-processed data of every individual player so now what i need to do i need to go with the training and test data set so this video is actually extremely long so uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna break this video into another video and uh, hopefully i hope you are able to understand this even actually the main purpose of making this video is i am documenting my work so hopefully this is helping you in some sort of way and uh, thank you for watching in this video in the upcoming video i'm gonna explain the train test split and the machine learning part okay thank you for watching see you again